Hey guys, what is up? I don't even know if I remember how to talk in front of a camera. I'm a really big perfectionist and I think that that is my biggest flaw. I mean, there's a lot of flaws, but if I had to pick one, I guess that might be it. Or it could be the fact that I, you know, talk to fish as if they could hear me. Hey Cheese, how are you? Oh, your glass is dirty. I gotta clean that. I'm so sorry. I don't know why it's so dirty. Do you need some food? Here, follow me over here if you need food. Oh, you did it. I guess that means you need food. Okay, let me feed you. I mean, it's one of those, don't know which one. Anyway. Huge perfectionist here. I have filmed three videos within this last month and I didn't like any of them. I have been juggling my medical problems with some traveling and of course all my animals and just the new madness of living on my own. It's been definitely life changing to move out and be on my own and having to take care of myself completely. So juggling all these things with also trying to edit some videos that I really was not proud of. I just, I haven't been getting videos out. And I know slowly over these last few months, I've been putting out less and less. And it's just, I have not been really proud of my work. And when I'm not happy with my work, it's so hard for me to feel passionate about putting it out and feeling proud to show you guys the stuff when I just don't really like it. So on top of all my things, my personal things I've been juggling, I just haven't been too proud of my work. So I've been in a, like a writer's block I don't know what the YouTube version of that is. A filmer's block? A blogger, vloggers? A vlogger's block? I have had a vlogger's block. I have just not been able to put out content that I am proud of. But I'm hoping I'm gonna start with a clean slate right now and I'm hoping that I am just on a roll now. I have a bunch of video ideas I have written down. I just really hope I get back into this state of mind where I really am enjoying what I'm putting out because I definitely do not have any intention ever to quit YouTube. I mean, of course, when I say ever, I don't wanna be like 80 years old and vlogging, but you know. But I have no intentions to leave YouTube while YouTube is still a thing. Maybe when I'm 80 years old, yeah, I probably won't be doing YouTube. But safe to say we have a little bit of time before I'm gonna be not doing this anymore. <laughs> so yeah, I have no plans to leave YouTube. It's just been a little rough patch. Thank you for the continued support regardless and I love you guys so much. So for today's video, we are talking about a newer addition to my animals. I have gotten some satanic leaf geckos. Now these guys are incredible animals from Madagascar. They literally look like what a leaf and a lizard having a baby would look like. They have a leaf for a tail, and some of them even have the veins that you would see on a leaf all over their body. The males can even have little bite marks out of their tails where it looks like the bugs have chewed on leaves. And anyway, they're amazing animals. I've always wanted to own these guys, but never really felt confident enough as they are a little more moderately hard to take care of. I wouldn't say they're the most impossible thing in the world. I've had a really easy run with them so far, but that's because I feel like I have, you know, really prepped myself. I've owned a lot of other geckos beforehand, and I would really recommend doing that before you go and buy a pair or a group of satanics. If their humidity isn't right, if it's too warm in their enclosure, they will die. They get dehydrated pretty easily and they only can eat tiny, tiny pinhead crickets. And those can be a little harder to come by unless you have like a reptile store near you that specifically has reptile supplies. Anyway, in this video, I just wanted to show you guys how I set up their enclosure. I'm sorry this is not some super fun, amazing comeback video. It's gonna be watch me set up a tank, but um, I still hope you guys enjoy it because I think these guys are very interesting animals. And uh, yeah, thank you guys for the continued support. And I'm so happy to be back on YouTube.
one thing I kind of overlooked when I first got them. When I was transferring them into their enclosure from the package that I bought them in, one of them jumped onto my hand and I turned it around and took a picture of it. Now, people actually did not really love that. Most people didn't worry, but I did have some people who were very concerned about the fact that I was holding my satanic. Now, of course, I've learned from that. I'm not gonna do it ever again, but my satanic was not in danger. I understand that it still sends out the wrong message and now people might see that picture and think, oh, they can hold there. Not what I was trying to say at all. She happened to jump into my hand and she happened to sit on my thumb and stay very still. So I turned her and took a picture and put her away. Still not something I would recommend doing again. So again, I apologize for anyone who saw that picture and did not like that I did that. I'm sorry, okay? Don't do it. Don't hold your satanic. present day I think it's doing really good we could actually see one of them is right there this one looks like one of the females so it's doing really well the whole setup's doing super good so that is the video today I love you guys so much thank you for watching and I really hope you do enjoy my videos um, one of the tough things for me is I really like making my videos fun I don't like just doing education if it's just a boring bland education video I don't feel proud of it like I said so I really do have a tough time uploading videos unless they're fun and enjoyable. So that's another thing that makes it harder for me to upload. Because yeah, when it comes to education videos, I really could just rail those out really, you know, consistently if I wanted to, where I just go through each of my animals, tell you guys how to take care of it and upload it. But that's just so, just it's not fun for me and I don't think it's fun for you guys either so I really like to hold off on those do them every once in a while but really stick to some fun videos I love doing the fun silly ones that's where I really get you know really am happy with my content but I really do have a lot of ideas now I've really set through and I've gotten myself situated and I really am feeling motivated and back into the groove of things so super excited about that thank you guys so much for watching I love you guys so much bye